now we are going to uh, see a new chapter today in, in today's class we are going to see a very very interesting a new chapter measurement first we must know what is measurement so if you want to measure anything you need some measurement if you want to measure any kind of object or any kind of a thing you need some measurements so uh, while we talk about measurement we must talk about length mass weight and capacity these are the um, units of measurements so first we are going to see measurement of length i'll repeat once again in today's class we are going to see measurement it's a very very interesting chapter and also we are apply in our day to day life first we must know what is a measurement if you want to measure any kind of an object or thing we need some measurements so uh, while you talk about measurement definitely we have to talk about length mass a weight or capacity so these are the unit of measurement 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 of length measurement of mass and weight measurement of capacity so first we are going to talk about measurement of length so measurement of length means first what are the units of what are the units of measurement of length first we must know that means millimeter centimeter meter then what kilometer so these are the very very important units of what measurement of length the first one is millimeter next one is centimeter third one is meter and fourth one is a kilometer so millimeter if you want to measure any small object a small thing we have to use millimeter so next is centimeter so little smaller that means a little bigger so the smallest unit is millimeter if you want to go for a small length so if you want to measure any small length means for example for first i am telling you the smallest unit is smallest unit the smallest unit is milli what meter millimeter is the smallest unit for an example if you take a tip of a pencil a tip of a crayon we you have to measure a we have to measure in millimeter only we have to write the unit in millimeter only this very smallest unit is millimeter so especially if you want to give an example means i tell you the tip of the pencil otherwise we can call it as a tip of the crayons you can take anything if you want to measure the tip of the pencil and tip of the crayons we have to use the unit of milli what meter the next one is what is this that is centimeter centimeter the small length you take a scale you want to draw a 5 centimeter of a what um, line segment for example if you draw a 5 centimeter take a ruler or take a scale and you have to draw a what a line segment for 5 centimeter so the so small length we are using what a scale so scale is an example of what centimeter because it's a parts of centimeter so 30 parts for one scale 30 centimeters are given from start 0 to 30 centimeter so scale is an example and one more thing you take a pencil or crayons it is also as so you take a not tip of the pencil and tip of the uh, what crayons i'm telling the exact marker or pencil even you can take a scale it is all the small length so small length always measure in centimeter next so bigger length that means bigger length for example the board the length of the board the white board length of the black board length of the gate length of the wall so these are the things you have to measure in meter so what is this bigger length okay smallest unit and very smallest things if you want to measure the unit is millimeter next one is small length we have to measure in centimeter so bigger length that means meter i give a lot of examples a length of the board that means it's a length of the board means l into b that means what is this length and breadth so this is the different length and this is the different length this is called as length and this is called as a breadth so that is what so it is a different length it is in meter next for example length of the gate length of the wall length of the door it's all comes under meter next one is longer length like distance for example from trichy to coimbatore or chennai to coimbatore or trichy to tanjore or wherever trichy to madurai so whatever the places you have trichy to bangalore all these things so all the places are long distance like a distance traveling one place to another place that is a very long distance that is measured in that unit is measured that unit is called as kilometer we have to measure the long distance we have to use only in kilometer so i'll repeat once again 
So now we are going to see measurement of length. The smallest unit means millimeter. The small length, if you to measure a small length, we have to use centimeter. To measure a bigger length, we have to use meter. We have to um, measure a longer length like a distance. We have to use kilometer. This is the a longer distance unit. Then after millimeter, the short form of millimeter is m dot m. That is called as millimeter. And centimeter, the short form of centimeter is c dot m. And meters, uh, we denote m. And kilometer, we have to denote km. That is what. So example, I tell you pencil tip that is 2 millimeter. And pencil crayons 5 centimeter. And what is this? Meter is a standard unit. So example, length of a what length of the wall is equal to 40 meter an example for this that is a longer length like distance for millimeter i'm giving an example of pencil strip that is 2 millimeter centimeter examples pencil circle that is 5 centimeter meter is a standard unit it's denoted in m example length of the wall is equal to 14 meter and kilometer that is example stretchy to come that is 200 around 250 kilometer this is the examples so formula you must memorize these formulas are very important 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter and 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter and 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer so meter to centimeter meter is a what bigger unit and centimeter is a smaller unit. so if you convert bigger unit to smaller unit that means you have to divide for example 5 meter sorry <coughs> meter to centimeter is a meter is a bigger unit bigger unit and this is what centimeter centimeter is a what smaller unit smaller unit that means so what you're going to do the so 5 meter it convert into 500 centimeter that means not divide you have to multiply 5 meter is equal to 500 centimeter means what you're going to do 1 meter is equal to what 100 centimeter that means 5 meter is equal to 5 into 100 you can get what 500 centimeter so bigger and convert bigger into smaller unit means you have to multiply you have to multiply this is very important bigger into smaller unit means multiply and smaller unit to bigger unit means division so for example the same thing so 500 that is 500 centimeters converting to meter means 500 centimeters converting to meter means this is 5 meter how could you get this 500 divided by 100 you can get what 5 meter so smaller unit to bigger unit small to big you have to divide okay big to small you have to multiply i'll repeat once again bigger unit to smaller unit multiply smaller unit to bigger unit division so don't forget this rule and this is the this is also one of the formula one kilometer means one kilometer means thousand meter and one by four kilometer that is quarter kilometer means 250 meter and half a kilometer that is 500 meter three by four kilometer that is 750 meter so you have to memorize this value if you memorize this value only you have to apply in the sums while you converting meter to kilometer or kilometer to meter or meter to centimeter whatever the questions they asked you you have to use this what use this formula so don't forget to learn the formula and memorize all these formulas is very essential